Hey y'all, it's your boy Rico. And Sam. And we are here today to do a review video again. One day I was just like scrolling on Instagram and I saw this sponsored ad for this company called Shinesty. And it was just a picture of their underwear and talking about how they have like a separate pouch with like some lips. I'm like, oh my God. Okay, this could maybe work for packing. So I clicked on their Instagram and um, we decided to hit them up and be like, hey, have you ever tried to like sell these to trans guys that pack because this might work because there's like a kind of separate pouch yeah. that might work for packing and they were awesome enough to uh, send us a few pairs so we can review it and see how they work. Yeah, I was kind of surprised because um, this company is actually like specifically known for dip to, like typically doing like um, holiday themed like suits and like apparel and like really fun like yeah. different kinds of like styles that like like, they'll have, like, full, like, Christmas-themed, like, suits and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They're really into the holidays. It's really fun. It's, yeah. I, I really like their stuff a lot. I think it's, like, it's just, it's different and it's cool. Yeah, they even have themes for, like, pretty much every holiday. Every holiday. New Year, it's Fourth of July, yeah. Valentine's Day. Yeah. And uh, they have, like, fun boxers where, like, you know, like, the pouch part is, like, a kitten or a dog or a horse. Just snake. Stupid shit. Yeah. Have you seen a snake? A snake, a, a <laughs> cock. Rooster, cock, you know. I wanted that one. Yeah, ah. it's funny, it's funny. <laughs> but yeah, so I sent them a message, I was like, hey, I don't know if y'all know this, but the packing, uh, I mean, the underwear that you guys are doing um, could really be beneficial to trans men. Have you thought about reaching out to that market? And they said that, like, basically, they're like, we want these underwear to be for everybody. We haven't necessarily reached out to the trans community, but we are open to the idea. Like, then they were, like, totally down to, like, do, like, a review video with us. Mm -hmm. So that was awesome. Um, they sent us three pairs. Yes. Yes. Are we ready to talk about them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's okay. do it. Uh, so these are the first pair. We did get a lot of Christmas-themed underwear. This one has hats and presents on it. <laughs> um, this one, my personal phase right now. These are whoop, Ninja Gingerbread Men. Like, y'all. Wait, Ninja. Yeah, they're ninjas. <laughs> Isn't that everything? <laughs> like, look at those. Those are cute. They're really fun. And these ones are like 90s retro. It kind of reminded me of like Rocco's Modern Life kind of thing. Um, so those are the three pairs they've sent us. But like Rico said, they have stuff for like every holiday. Like every every holiday they come out with different pairs. But they also have ones that are just like just like fun themed. Um, like just different patterns. Like, it's, like ones that are really cute that have like dinosaurs on them. Like just like some really cute patterns and stuff. Which... Y'all know I love underwear, so I'm really here for it. Yeah, they also have solid colors that you can get in like three packs too. Oh yeah, for sure. <clears throat> um, so you're gonna flip it inside out? And show yeah, them. we were kind of surprised when we got it. Like we didn't know what to expect, but this is definitely not it. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. So as you can see, uh, there is that like lip right here. But mind you, this is only about like an inch, like an inch long. Um, so it is pretty shallow <laughs> as far as the actual pouch goes. The underwear ended up actually not fitting Rico. Uh, he's a little too small for it, so I ended up taking the wheel with that um, just because I'm a little bit bigger boy. But I am still a small in these, and they are a little loose. It's like in the thigh area up on me, but um, they fit pretty decently. Um, but yeah, so I started packing with them pretty much the same day. Uh, I've been packing with them for about a week now. Um, I will say that it hasn't been the best for packing. Um, Unfortunately, because it's only an inch deep, uh, my packer likes to flip around a lot. Unless I'm wearing super tight underwear or like um, a, an extra pair of underwear underneath, underneath, we get what Rico and I call it sideways dick, where our dick like flips to the side and <laughs> flips completely 180. As a mind of its own, it's like, where are yeah, you going? Yeah. It's just like I can feel it like moving around in there, doing a little dance. Um, so that's kind of like weird because I I'm always have that fear that my pan my dick's gonna like fall on my pants or you know what what have you. Um so I will say that unless I've been wearing an extra pair of underwear or else I'm wearing like skin tight pants, I have been having to like readjust myself a lot. Um so that's never like a good sign. Um I do think that if they were to go up like even just a couple maybe like in another inch and a half two inches i think that they would be a lot better just something to cover more of the base i can i can kind of show you what what you kind of get here don't mind my packer it's a little linty uh -huh. you all know how it is so essentially if i put my packer in there it covers that much that much um, so unfortunately that isn't enough to keep it in place. 
Like I said, I think if it went up just a little bit longer to maybe like right here, that would be perfect. That would be enough. So maybe something that just the company should keep in mind if they were to try to reach out to uh, more of a broader trans mask audience. Something that I thought about that though, um, with it not being good for packing, I realized that I think these actually would be really good for post fallow people. Um, I myself obviously have not had phalloplasty, so I'm I'm only thinking I'm only speaking for like what I've like thought about and what I've like tried to imagine what it would be like when if I was post fallow. Um, but what I was thinking about it is because it is um, it does separate, but it's not very constrictive. I think that they could be really beneficial for someone that is post fallow or uh, post meta because. It wouldn't be high enough to touch like the incisions or touch any of the stitches or anything like that. I think that it would be good to keep like your new shaft away from your body by by that little lip. Um, so if you were to put like your shaft in that lip and keep it away from your body, that way it's not rubbing against anything or moving in any weird way. Like it's staying in place but not too tight to where you feel uncomfortable or anything like that. So just something to keep in mind for those of you who are thinking about getting phalloplasty soon or are post phallo and are looking for some underwear that's more comfortable for you, maybe give that a shot. Um, I think that they actually could be pretty beneficial. The reason I couldn't fit in it is because the smallest size they go to is a small and with their size and guide it's 31 inch waist and under. Uh, I'm like 28, 28 inch waist when it comes to like jeans and all that. When it comes to other packing underwear like Rovio, I think I'm like 25, 26. I can go as small as 25, 27 to 29, I can do. Um, so definitely, like, I didn't even try them on. Just looking at it, I was like, there's no way. And yeah, just the, the fact that the pouch is so damn big, I know the pa pack will be like flopping left and right and all that. Um, but yeah, I know they go from size small to I think XXL, which is pretty fucking dope. Mm -hmm. And uh, the prices for these guys, like, are mostly 25 bucks a pair mm -hmm. um you can get like a three pack or more for like 15 percent off they kind of like make it cheaper the more you buy and they also have a subscription model to where you can get a pair i think for like 15 bucks each and you can sign up for like once a month or one every other month or every three months and uh you can cancel anytime with no like fee or anything so that's pretty dope when it comes to shipping, I think it's just like, there's different rates of shipping, but the cheapest I think is only five bucks, so that's not too bad. Yeah. Um, I will say that even if these aren't great for packing, um, they are very, very soft and comfortable. They are probably some of the softest underwear I've ever worn in my whole life, and I am totally down to just chill in these all day, <laughs> every day. Um, they're super soft, super comfy. I like the length on them. I'm not typically a boxer brief guy. I'm typically like a jock guy, but you can't always just chill around in a jock, so these <laughs> are very, very comfy to wear. Yeah, so thank you to Shine and Steve for sending me underwear. I really appreciate y'all. Yeah, uh, thanks for letting us try these out. Um, yeah, we always appreciate reaching out to companies that are not trans-specific and be yeah. like, hey, what are your thoughts? This, this, that. Mm -hmm. And so far, they've been open, like, hey, we're going to throw you a pair. Let us know what you think. Yeah. So it started with just separate tech, right? And now we're at Shine and Steve. Yeah. And so we'll if you are an underwear company that wants me too. <laughs> underwear, please. My way, I love underwear. <laughs> and also, of course, since we are not post fallow at all or post any bottom surgery, if you're watching this and you are, let us know your opinions. Like, would this work for someone that has a uh, shit down there now? Or buy a pair <laughs> and wear them and make your overview video and tag us in it because I want to watch it. True that. I want to know. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, if you like this video and these cute underwear, you know what to do. Please like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe. <laughs> I, love, I love why you always do that right after me. Okay, we'll see y'all. Bye. Wait! Happy holidays, everybody. Oh, uh, yeah. Rico is a fucking Scrooge, y'all. Bah humbug. I don't celebrate the holidays. I don't care. As festive it's as the I get. holidays! <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>